Yeah. First of all, <laughs> hold up, bitch. No, I'm up. Y'all see this? I ain't never saw this day in my life. Oh. No. Oh. Follow back after this. <laughs> Yo, this is funny. Y'all, I gotta subscribe to this channel. So there was a lot of drama going on this past two weeks that I didn't feel in, and we're gonna get straight into it. So let's get straight into the drama. Okay, so as you guys know, there was a lot of drama regarding the Edward family and Kyra's mother, Catherine. It was crazy. People were siding with her and accusing Kaylin for being abusive to Kyra with no shred of evidence. There was no shred of evidence. They just trusted this mother for some reason. After I made a video on the situation and we're breaking it down, after the Edwards family made a huge video as well, explaining everything, there were like two huge videos that they made. Everyone started to understand that this woman is a manipulator, a liar, and someone not to trust. So yeah, that's my hopes. My hopes is that, like, just seeing me make it out and um, just hoping that Kyra will wake up and she'll realize what's going on and... Um, I love you, Kyra. Do you hear me? I love you. More than myself. We don't care to have a relationship with Kyra or Kaylin. I love you. I would do anything for you, and that's why I'm doing this. Um, this isn't fake. What's more crazy to me is that people still believe in this woman. It's like, you can't get any crazier than that. It's like, wow. Anyway, she recently made a post saying, look at her face and her body language when, when he's speaking. This is not Kyra we all know and love. My baby isn't happy, and mama knows it. She then started making posts of Kyra and Kaylin's son. Queens walk alone. This hurts so much. We're having hard days over here, huh? Hard days? How am I gonna make it better? She showed tons of posts, posts of the baby in the diaper, like just things that, look, adults should not be posting on the internet. It's the internet. People are going to capture that and put it on weird websites. Don't do that to your child. Respect your child's privacy. Anyway, after she started to face some backlash, she did the typical narcissistic flip and played the victim. This is real life. <laughs> I'm having a moment because I looked at the calendar and I realized tomorrow's Carter's first birthday. I, I try not to think about it because I've seen him since he was four months old. You guys think this is a game? Think this is a joke? Think I'm crazy? Walk in my shoes. Walk in my shoes. It's so funny how it's meant to be about this boy, right? But she flips it and makes it all about her. Typical narcissistic trait. I can't even believe you people that support Kaylin and Kyra and Robert. I can't believe my mom. I can't believe that I've had no one in my corner for almost eight months supporting me through this. Everyone judges because they set their phone and all they see is what Kyra and Kaylin puts out. But you don't notice all the edits. It blows my mind that I'm wrong and I'm crazy and I need, I need to shut the right? I'll die trying. I'll never shut the- Obviously, if no one has your back, it's clear that you are the problem. Now that was depressing. Let's move on to some funny drama. I don't know if you guys know, but the Taylor girl's mom and dad started a channel called Mama and Papa Taylor Reacts. They reacted to the Taylor girl's pranks and they recently reacted to their younger daughter's Trinity Taylor prank on Daisha and her boyfriend. Daisha! What? Okay, don't get on to with me, honey. What you cooking? You don't matter. Do not be not happy! Do not be happy! I don't know what you think about it! Me, I could have handled that through the phone. You know that song, Kiss Me Through the Phone? I would have bust that gas through the phone. <laughs> That's too funny. Taking like phone. Mm, I look real nice when I first wake she up. She was Bro. way out of pocket, I can tell you. Yeah, boy. Mm. Like that. I'm not like to see her and like seeing her. She better have her phone and join. Excuse me, are you listening to me? I'm saying she might get uh, uh on punishment 
for the prank. Yeah, because that dad was just very disrespectful. And we didn't raise her that like that. Even though I didn't raise her like that, you did. Don't, you can quit trying to throw me under the bus and keep them out my I'll blood. I'll throw you on top of blood the truck. Line, I'm throwing you all this, all this and that. What oh, you guys are too harsh. It was just a prank. You know what I mean? Have you seen the Taylor girls pranks? Have you seen have, have you seen your pranks? Now talking about the Taylors, Ty has allegedly been in some recent drama regarding Queen Nigel. I you recently got her hair done by a company named A Day ja Braids. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And a few days later, Queen Nigel end up getting the same thing. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at my hair. Now the drama started when Ty made this post. The Shade Room ended up taking this and posting it on their Instagram page saying Many teammates sent a little shade thrown by Ty Taylor to Queen Niger about her new do. It's shady or is it a reach? The former friends also no longer follow each other and are both rocking the same look done by the same person which may have led to our teammates conclusion. Ty responded saying That's a reach but okay. It wasn't a reach. You only saying that now cause your ass is gonna drive as you should. We all saw the other Insta story before you deleted it. So I think it's just bull****. Queen's little fans can be very, very messy. But I do know the legit ones, okay? Cause they talk to me. If you saw Ty posting that and posting something, sorry, and deleting it, please let me know in the DMs. I would love to know. But I think that's just bull to make her look bad. Ty also made another post saying, how you follow me but talking ish? You confused. Now people were speculating that she was talking about Queen. I think she wasn't. I think she was talking about a fan or someone who claimed to be a fan and was following her and then probably talking crap in the comments. So here are my thoughts on the situation. I personally don't think it's a reach. I completely understand why these former teammates or whatever, had that conclusion. We all know from our previous video that when someone unfollows you, it's a big deal, okay? Don't try to act like, oh, we're just unfollowing each other because um, we're unfollowing each other. It doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does mean something. Don't insult our intelligence. Something is up, and in Queen's previous video, she made it clear that she has no friends in Atlanta. I really wish I had like female friends. I wish I had like a best friend that I could, you know what I'm saying, trust and um, like somebody that's like me. But then again, it's like I've had offers, you know, to, to go out and things like that. But it's just kind of awkward because I kind of don't fit in because like I don't really, I don't drink, I don't smoke. So it's like, a lot of people do that nowadays and it's common, so it's like- Guess who also lives in Atlanta? The Taylor girls. The Taylor girls live in Atlanta. So, I don't know, if I was one of the Taylor girls and I saw Queen post a video like that, I ain't gonna lie, I would feel some type of way. If any of my YouTube friends said, oh, I wish I had friends in my area, you know it for sure. If I was in their area, I would want to slap them and be like, uh, what about me? What happened? Wait, like boot up <laughs> i'm always like in a relationship which is nothing wrong with being in a relationship but it's like just because you're in a relationship you don't have to stop having friends you know what i'm saying you have to listen to some music you know do cute snapchats with my friends and i just really want someone that's like just genuine man like do you think ty and Queen Nigel are still friends? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally think something's obviously up. Let's move on to the next drama. Chandler Alexis is pregnant, allegedly. She uploaded a video showing her test results. Just to confirm how far along. By the way, you can see it says I am pregnant. And I am three plus weeks. Oh my god, the poor child. Run, baby, run. No, seriously, maybe this will help Chandler become a better person. You know, Chandler doesn't really have a very good pass on YouTube. She ended up signing some contract.
this is my signed contract to play hard record label. I am officially a signed artist. She can see. But no, seriously though, congratulations, you're being a signed artist. I'm definitely uh, interested in listening to your music or whatever you have. Believer in God's plan, and I strongly believe that he knows exactly what he's doing. Hallelujah! She has turned from her evil ways and has gone to baby Jesus. Time to start this new chapter in my life. What in the Harry Potter? You can't claim to be a follower of Jesus and you, uh, you practicing black magic. How the f*** you disappear like that? There's no place like home. Probably someone else who wanted some black magic was Corey. Corey decided to react to someone's video about the drama with Bianca and Damien. So I'm watching this video. This shit is so funny. I need everybody to tell me what y'all think. He thinks the whole colorism thing was pulled out of proportion. First of all, it's just crazy to hear how it went out of proportion. I'm not rapping. I'm, 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 I'm not in the studio, bro. And I don't mic in my face. He then end up talking about Damien's car getting fake spray painted on. But listen, it was just crazy to me, bro, because like the car, the dilemma, they vandalized the dilemma, bro. Yeah. They did my niggas. But I'm gonna tell y'all, sure. That shit. Funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody really like came to your house and got out of their car. I think my bro did that. <laughs> now you petty as hell, bro. So I think you did that. Just, just <laughs> now he wasn't throwing shade at Damien. He wasn't being like, you know, backstabbing or talking. Shit. He was just doing it in like. To me, it looked like a laughing, like just a bro type of way. Like, bro, I know you being petty and they laugh. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, ew. Damien trying to like trick you guys and manipulate you guys and make you feel bad. See, Corey doesn't see the bigger picture, okay? He's blinded because it's his friend. So he's going to be kind of biased on the situation, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, Damien was not having it. What's going on, bro? Hey, you What's good, man? Where you at, bro? Hey, don't worry about it. What's that shit you talking about, dog? Bro, come on, let me know, bro. Why you live rapping about it? Bro, not, bro I'm, I'm talking about the Lamborghini part. I just took it for Bro, the nobody fake shit. Like, bro, I just what is you really, bro, bro, what are you saying, man? Why ain't you pull Why up? Why ain't you pull up? Nigga, you ain't you know, you, you, nigga, you, you, you yeah, don't talk about Damien. Get the out of here, bro. You don't, you don't hear talking about Damien. You my nigga, but bro, you fake that shit. Nigga, what you talking about, my nigga? You ain't kept on me. You gotta be check on your But you gotta be under with yourself, bro. Like, you gotta be with yourself, bro. That Lamborghini shit, bro, just didn't look real, bro. Now, now the color is shit. Really, Corey? Come on, y'all outside of her. Really, Corey? We just doing the most, bro. But I feel like you did that shit to be petty, bro. Like, real shit. I'm going to keep it a hundred with you, bro. That's how you feel? Bro, listen, if I was a fake why, nigga, why would I spray, nigga, why would I spray paint a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar car that I just got? You sound stupid as my nigga. Because Damien is a weak and his argument isn't strong, he used the ad hominem fallacy. He's saying that Corey sounds stupid as f He's trying to make him have doubt. It's very manipulative and it's very tactful. You're gonna see him use this a lot while he's arguing with Corey. Now, Corey attacked that argument with a valid point saying that there's fake spray paint. You got fake spray paint, bro. Like, bro, Corey did my car. Bro. Why, why, but why would I spray paint my own car? You sound dumb as your stuttering ass, nigga. Another attack on him at this point. Damien's argument is very weak. So he's tried everything. He's getting frustrated. He's trying to manipulate Corey so badly. And because Corey has a lot of confidence within himself, he actually ends up laughing. It's so funny because if you look at Damien, it kind of pisses him off more. Cause you, you petty as hell, bro. You Damien. No, you petty as hell. Nigga, how you doing, my nigga? But you see, I am no Nigga, you know where I live? You know where I live? Bro. Nigga, don't, bro, bro, listen, don't speak on my name, nigga. You worried about me? Worry about your family, nigga. Worry about you and your girl. 
<laughs> now, I don't even know how to pronounce this fallacy and turns it back onto Corey. It takes the heat off him and then he doesn't have to defend his argument because he's throwing the heat back on Corey. It's another tactic because, again, Damien's argument is weak. My shit right there. Yeah, yeah but listen, listen, listen. Hey, you can't get What's mad, up, bro? Listen. This, you can't get mad, get bro. mad. No, 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 no. I'm not upset about that shit. I'm upset about the fact that you saying I'm on your live, right? But well, I'm on your, your girl live. You, you over here saying, oh, Damien, my nigga. But come on, bro. Last little man, that shit was fake. You sound dumb as you gonna call me? You gonna yeah. call me your nigga? But then they see her talking about me. I don't. I'm not talking about you, bro. If that shit you look stupid, bro. bro. You sound stupid, bro. You sound stupid, bro. You sound what? But no, you look stupid. Listen, let me tell you how. You look stupid. Oh, Corey, fight it back. Why would you, nigga? You look goofy. Look at your face, monkey. Outside bro. overnight, bro. Only leave my cars outside. Let me only beat the thousand dollars. Nigga, I got four cars. Nigga, what you talking about? Talk the Lamborghini out the, the highest one you will leave it outside. Nigga, my fucking neighbor got a Lamborghini. Pull up right now, you're gonna see his Lamborghini outside. What are you talking about? A car is I'm not talking about your name, I'm talking about you. We black, we don't leave no shit like that outside. You sound stupid, bro. I leave all my cars outside, my nigga. Whenever I feel like it. What are you talking about? Bro. Bro, listen. You fair argument. Now, see, now he's answering back to Corey with a fair argument. Most likely, probably because this part seems true and it could be legit. He probably does have a full garage, so it's easy for him to come back this argument. Yeah, that's about a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. I don't care about no Lambo. I'm a millionaire, my nigga. <coughs> Nigga, you nigga, nigga, this gas in a Lamborghini outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like niggas is gas. Listen, bro. Bro, listen, I'm not listen, even, listen, 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 listen. I mean, dude, I'm listen, 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 listen. I'm not even tripping over the fact that my car got spray painted. I'm not tripping no, over that. No, I'm tripping no. I'm over the fact that no, 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 my nigga. I'm tripping over the fact that you called me yo nigga, and you over here talking shit about me online. That's that's. What I was talking shit about you, nigga. You my nigga, and I thought like, you your video was funny as hell. You said my nigga regardless, but those videos funny is it? But listen, you just said you don't care about them again, but you were crying your video about the car. You said what? You was crying your video about the car, bro. <laughs> okay, because I, I work for that shit, my nigga. What are you talking about? So you like, talking about I, 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 I can it, buy, I can buy, I can buy another one. Can you? Huh? I can buy another one right now, but can you? As you can see, he's changing the subject. He's trying to take the heat off himself because, again, Damien, you're a weak b Your argument has no grounds. You know your shit is fake. It's not legit. There are so many YouTubers that say, well, everything is fake. Everything is for entertainment. Okay, well, if that's the case, why is he mad? Why were they mad at Rage, Choice TV, Dante, when they exposed him ages ago? Why were they mad? It's just reality TV. It's all fake. It's all entertainment. But then why are they mad? Because it's more than that. It's manipulation. It's tricking their audience to get them to do what they need. To get you to do what they need you to do. It's about having control and power. It's about protecting their brand. But y'all don't see that because you're blinded. But if you subscribe to me, you're gonna see the truth, okay? I wasn't doing this what, but I'll tell you my mind. You worried about my Lamborghini, nigga? Nigga, how many times did you get I, you I, I tell you what, I'll tell you what. Listen, how many times did you get caught in my apartment? How many times did you get caught in my apartment? Is that what? Shut the f in, nigga. You're not even faithful, my nigga. Chill out. I can't even hear you. Your face so long, it don't even fit all the way in the screen, my nigga. Why you trying to joke on me, bro? Like, come on, I, I listen, for real though. No, I'm like, just saying, nigga, bro, chill, like, bro. Just no, listen, listen. Like, this, yo. Damien took this way out of proportion, took it the wrong way. He was offended because, of course, he is lying. He isn't telling the truth about his car getting spray painted on. Bro, you got your feelings for no reason, bro. You you got your feelings, bro. I'm disappointed in you, bro. You got your feelings, bro. bro. Why why would you go live? Week. Now I will show you the rest of the stream, but it's basically repeat after repeat, fallacy after fallacy. Is this argument fake? I bet you any money, Damien Public, and this is my cons 
conspiracy, okay? Damien was like, after that life, oh, Corey, uh, I didn't mean that. It was just, I did that so we can get more views and be on the two pages. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean that, bro. <laughs> I didn't mean to call you a long face. <laughs> so let's, let's fake beef now so we can get views and money. That's probably what's going to happen now. That's what I think. But again, I could be totally wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't think this is planned or fake at all but again i could be wrong but looking at the fallacies looking at the how mad they were both getting even corey at the end got a little bit frustrated definitely it was real you ain't used to having real niggas are you <laughs> also in the news lovely mimi if you guys have no idea who lovely mimi is i'm sorry y'all be living under a rock she is so entertaining she was on love and hip-hop and she grew her social media fame on instagram now she recently started a youtube channel as well she's doing really well on youtube recently she got arrested according to hot new hip-hop lovely mimi from love and hip-hop atlanta arrested for possession of e reported apparently she dropped some e on the floor and then she got busted for it and she got arrested and she got out of bond and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be like a court case and stuff like that I really don't want to talk about that, okay? This is for Mimi, okay? I want you guys to help me out. Go tell Mimi that to watch this part of my video, okay? Mimi, lovely Mimi. You are killing it on YouTube, okay? And I'm just like, why is this woman, if it's true, why is she selling E? She's got her own business. I understand businesses sometimes don't do well all the time, you know what I mean? Sometimes you have your high seasons, sometimes you have your low seasons. I get it, you know what I mean? Especially if you have a particular lifestyle and that business isn't paying for that lifestyle as yet, there's a problem, right? But Mimi, you are missing out on so much money on YouTube. Like, there's no need for you to go selling E. I saw some of your videos and I'm pretty sure some of them had no ad or one ad. And I was like, what the hell? Mimi must not know this, okay? You, you don't have no YouTube friends, okay? Lovely Mimi, I will be your YouTube friend, okay? I'll be your friend. You can call me. I can help you and hook you up with this. You only have one ad. I don't think you realize you have like long 30-minute videos. You can put an ad every five minutes in your videos. If you do that, your profit, the money that you're making will, will grow so much more on YouTube. So you are making around $600 to $9,000 per month on YouTube. That's around $115,000 per year. Okay, and I bet you any money that's probably wrong. You could probably be making more than that. You are averaging 2 million views every this month okay i don't know about next month mimi i'm telling you if you put more ads in your videos you're going to be making a lot more and there's no no there's no reason for you to be selling some e okay i'm just telling you this out of love because i think you're funny as hell i'm guessing you don't have a lot of youtube friends because if you did they would tell you to put more ads in your videos so i hope you watch this Anyway guys, what was your favorite story of today? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember, if you guys have any story or leads, all my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another drama video.